Trust, but verify. This holds true for your everyday life, but also your cable lugs. There are hundreds of cable lug manufacturers around the world, and I have seen many of them neglecting the importance of regular product testing. This raises a simple question. Do you trust your cable lugs? Hey everyone, my name is Sahil and in today's video, we will learn how to guarantee the quality of your cable lugs. By the end of this video, you will have a full understanding of the electrical and mechanical tests required for lugs, including the conductivity test, the heat cycling test, the tensile test, the secureness test, and the pullout test. But why should you listen to me? At Axis, we have been manufacturing a wide range of lugs and connectors like copper, aluminium, and bimetallic lugs for the last 30 years. You will find our lugs installed in solar plants, utility scale applications, substations, transformers, control panels, switch gears, and many more. But first, let's briefly discuss lugs and their importance to electrical safety. A cable lug is a component used to connect an electrical wire or cable to an electrical component equipment or termination point. Cable lugs are designed to create a secure, mechanically strong and electrically conductive connection between the conductor and the component it is being connected to. Lugs are used in situations where a strong and long-lasting electrical connection is necessary, but directly connecting the conductor to the equipment is just not practical. This could be due to limited space, different conductor sizes, or many other reasons. Lugs available in the market are primarily copper, aluminium, or bimetallic. We have a detailed video explaining the different types of lugs and their application. The link to that video is right here and also in the description. Now let's explore the different types of tests and let's start with the most basic, the electrical conductivity test. Electrical conductivity is a measure of how easily an electric charge can pass through a material. How do we conduct this test? This test is performed using the conductivity testing machine and it measures conductivity of metals in the unit of percentage of IACS, that is International Annealed Copper Standard. The number preceding IACS is the percentage of conductivity a material has relative to pure copper, which is considered to be 100% conductive. In the case of copper, the electrical conductivity must be more than 97% to ensure the material is electrolytic, tough pitch or ETP grade copper. As you can see, Axis copper lugs have an electrical conductivity of 99% IACS. This indicates the raw material used to manufacture Axis cable lugs has high conductivity and uses pure copper material. Next, the heat cycling test. The goal of this test is to assess the lugs long-term performance. How do we conduct this test? We connect multiple lugs with suitable cables in a series to form a test loop. We then evaluate the functional properties of six lugs and one reference conductor. This reference conductor is part of the loop and we control its temperature to reach about 120 to 140 degrees Celsius by injecting current. After all the lugs and the reference conductor are heated and stabilized, they're cooled back to ambient temperature. We repeat this heating and cooling cycle 1000 times, which takes approximately two months to complete. The lug passes the test if it meets the standard criteria as per IEC 61238 for resistance and temperature, proving that our lugs are built for longevity. Note, there are two different types of tests for lugs. The one described here follows the guidelines of IEC 61238, while another is the current cycling test according to UL 486A, 486B. However, both these tests are conducted using the same equipment in our lab. Thirdly, the tensile test. The aim of this test is to determine if the lug can withstand the required tensile load without being damaged. This test is performed on the tensile testing machine. We set the required tensile load value and duration to apply the tensile load for one minute as per table four of IEC 61238. If the slippage does not exceed three mm, the sample is compliant to the standard. As you can see here, the lug remained undamaged and there was no slippage of the conductor. This confirms that it can handle the required tensile load in real world applications. Before moving to the secureness test, 
Make sure you're informed about product installation techniques, different applications of the products and updates on the electrical industry. Subscribe to our weekly newsletter. You will find the link in the comments. Now, let's talk about the secureness test. This test ensures that the cable lug will remain firmly attached to the cable under mechanical stress, preventing any accidental disconnection. The lugs are first crimped onto the cables using the defined crimping tool and the specified number of crimps. We have a separate video on how to crimp cable lugs. The link is right here and also in the description. Finally, the crimped lug along with the cables are installed on the secureness test equipment. Weights, as specified in UL486A, 486B, are connected to the cables. These cables undergo rotation for the duration specified in the standard and after completing the designated time, no slippage of the cables from the lugs should occur. In the case of Axis manufactured lugs, no slippage was observed. This confirms that Axis lugs will remain securely attached to the cables even under mechanical stress. Lastly, the pullout test. This determines the mechanical strength of the bond between the cable lug and the cable. This test is performed as specified in UL486A486B and the lug is first fixed to a standard cable, then it is subjected to a direct tensile load that gradually increases. The force applied during this test is measured in kilonewtons. The standard requirement is that the lug must withstand a minimum pullout force specific for its size and design. For example, this axis copper lug is expected to withstand a pullout force of 1000 newtons, which is 1 kilo newton. This test verifies that even under extreme pulling scenarios, the lug's attachment to the cable will remain secure and intact. This is important because the electrical connection should not be compromised under mechanical stress. I hope you now have a clear idea about the major electrical and mechanical tests for cable lugs. All lugs manufactured at Axis are tested as per IEC 61238 or UL486A 486B. All these tests are performed at our Axiom lab in Mumbai, which is accredited by the National Accreditation Board for Testing and Calibration Laboratories, NABL, for ISO 17025-2017 and also approved by Underwriters Laboratory, also known as UL. At Axis, we manufacture and supply a wide range of cable lugs to more than 100 countries. We have a team of 50 plus engineers who are here to help you in designing and installing your lugs, connectors and lightning protection systems. Our products have been used in large scale solar farms, data centers and even in everyday residential and commercial buildings. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more videos about cable lugs, cable connectors, grounding systems and other electrical engineering topics. I'll see you in the next video.